What's up, VC? MC? Music community? Final community? Metal community? Whatever it is. It's your boy, Eric Weinbender, with your friend, Dustin. And, uh, we're here to shoot the breeze about some nonsense. Yeah, you know I mean, we're feeling a little metally. And, uh, if you don't know this is already, um, a little bit of doom stoner metal? Yeah. yeah. It's a little bit doomy, a little bit heavy. It's stoner metal, hard rock. Uh, it's sleep. <clears throat> Band's been around forever. Got back together. I want to say this is their 2018 album on Third Man. Um, if you can see that. But anyways, I'm weird. I still have it in the shrink with the hype sticker. And there's a gatefold with a giant smorgasbord of food that I know exists, but I'm not looking at because <laughs> it's still in the shrink. All right. So we're getting at it, and a little music in the background, I don't know if it's too loud or not, but uh, anyways, we start off a lot of times with a, a cheers to my friends out there in the music community, so cheers to you, sir. Cheers. And yeah, we're pretty chill and relaxed, and we're listening to heavy metal, but we're also pretentious assholes, apparently, because we're drinking red wine. You want to throw me that bottle, please? Don't throw it at me, and I'll hit you back. <laughs> All right. So uh, this... Horshack, for people if you don't know, or if you only know because you're a nerd that likes comics, uh, this Horshack, this ink blot, this is a 2015 uh, Hop Franck, because uh, apparently we're we're highfalutin, and it kind of looks like there's a doomy metal face in there, or maybe it's just the music we're listening to, but I don't know. Tell me what you see, if you care. But um, that just happens to be the drink tonight, because yeah, this is the drink tonight, whatever. Sometimes it's beer. Sometimes it's tequila. Tonight it's red wine. It just happens. Yeah. But uh, so this is gonna kick off right when we have to really get into it and start talking. But so let's just get after it. As to avoid making a forever and a day video, right? So uh, uh, if anyone's a nerd out there and they're wondering what band this is or whatever, it's the Skull, and those are camshafts. Uh, this is Lunati camshafts, which I think now is affiliated got bought out by Holly. I can't remember. They do carburetors and everything, but uh, this is the camshafts I have in my muscle truck. I'm fucking... I'm a meathead. So, anyways, uh, Mark G with the C, man. My man showed a, uh, an album. I want to say it was on C. I don't even recall what it was on, because I, I don't really care the formats. You're showing the music, you're playing music. At the end of the day, it's about what it's about, right? And so, get after it, bro. I wish I had a good joke about that, actually, in a previous video, man. I, if I find the link to that whatever video we were talking about that, it was you're, you're a little bit tipsy, and I was, we were talking about, like, uh, putting a sticker over, and you're like, fuck that guy. It was a good joke, man. If I, I'll have to watch a video to think about it. We had a fucking good time that night, right? Yeah, so I don't know if we're that silly and goofy tonight, but here we're at it. We're at three minutes. We're doing nothing. Who cares, right? So Mark G of the C. That's why I interrupt myself back at it, right? This is German thrash metal. This is Creator. This is their debut, if I'm not mistaken. I don't ever look things up. I just roll with it, right? I just trust my memory, and if anyone wants to correct me in the comment section, I'm not hurt, right? But so, uh, this is debut, if I'm not mistaken, German thrash metal, circa 85, maybe 84, but I want to I say this is 85. I might be wrong, and I guess I could also look if I wanted to, but where's the fun of this? This is a 2017 reissue, obviously. It doesn't say the original year. And then, um, your boy's a nerd. I've shown you this in the past, right? So, uh, it had, is in the shrink, but I just wanted to see what the gatefold was, right? right? And so the gatefold is the band, just metal style, the middle finger, some, uh, words and what have you, because the lyric sheets are on the sleeves, right? It's just plain black, so I'm not going to get too into it, there's nothing really special there. But so, there's the lyric sheets, the wax is just black wax, and the center label is just this in a, in a gloss. So there's nothing too crazy, right? But so, Mark, you would see, show this endless play, pain. Uh, the nerd thing I'm getting back to is I pulled this other shrink and I did two things. I pulled the hype stickers off because I'm a nerd. I've talked about in the past. There's one of the hype stickers discreetly in the corner. 
And because I don't give a damn about a UPC, <laughs> there's your parental advisory sticker in the corner there. But uh, I had this on my brain because um, back in the day when your boy actually used to get after it and lift some weights and really be in monster mode, uh, my most impressive lift, lift ever of all time, in my opinion, you know what I mean? Because I used to row a lot of weight. I used to really like to pull weight. Uh, but I used to like pull weight off the ground. Deadlift, 714.5 pounds. Uh, a long time ago in the past. It's a lot of weight. Never going to happen again. But the song I was listening to that I completely forgot about and was triggered, uh, Bone Breaker. That was a song I was listening to when I <laughs> nutted up and got that weight off the ground, right? And so uh, I guess since I'm, I just gave a shout out to Mark G. C. I gotta give a shout out to another one of my boys that, uh, you know, like I watch their channels, they watch mine, they go back and forth, I really appreciate that, man. Uh, like and subscribe if you want, I say, it doesn't make or break me at the end of the day, even though, and in this video, there's a surprise, I got a little contest information coming up here, right? Hey. There's a there's a heavy metal contest, just for my heavy metal bros, but we'll get that at the end, and if, if you're that guy that wants to fast forward, so be it, that's your prerogative, right? But so Darcy showed something, and I didn't buy the, was it the Five Souls, like this 10-inch record store day? And then this battle cry is limited to 7,500. This is 6260. Yep, 6260 out of 7,500. This battle cry, I own pretty much everything Judas Priest now that isn't Tim the Ripper Owens. Jugulator. <laughs> I used to have Jugulator on CD. I, I'll, I'll hunt that down someday. I don't know if it's going to get repressed on vinyl because music band and you know politics whatever don't need to get into that but it was so cool my boy phil simer i don't believe you were met but if anybody wants to go back videos once upon a time nashville third man records uh my boy and i are, are hanging out in suits about to go watch some fist fights but um we saw this tour which by the way was the anniversary tour of this album right here and uh jawbreaker which is also as you can tell performed here they played a lot of this set's from this old man is so that's such a dope cover defenders of the faith if i'm not mistaken is the same artist that did screaming for vengeance uh, album cover art doesn't matter i haven't even played this yet i just got this recently but i saw a good show in simpsonville south carolina and i figured i might as well grab this before the limited number disappears and then it becomes too expensive right so i grabbed it and uh dude i'm not mad at any juice priest dude people who show that shit all the time and the vinyl community and i'm not gonna get tired of it right Something I also remember from back, like really getting at it, boxing, training, and weightlifting back in the day, was Toxic Holocaust, right? So, uh, Toxic Holocaust. And this is back in the kind of the Napster Kaza days. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't you, don't Kaza, you, I forgot about Kaza. Don't you yawn on me. Did you say Kaza? Yeah. Dude, don't say Kaza. It's That's not what like. we always say. What, in Afghanistan? No, no, I've never what? lived in Afghanistan. Sim, Sim, Salabim, Kaza, <laughs> Abracadabra, it's Kaza, 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 dude, it's not Kaza. Kaza sounds like something a magician says. We what do you like? just call it Kaza. <laughs> Who's we? Uh, me, Billy, my mom. Code me. names, code names. Not code yeah. names. Yeah. Ishtar and what have you. <laughs> All right, so anyways, let me get after this, man. Alright, so this is on a watermelon colorway, you know, so I don't know if that screams metal or not, watermelon, but it's my favorite food. But so I used to listen to this back in the Napster Kaza days, right? And so, you know, a lot of times it's, oh, static cling, man. Alright, now I gotta fiddle, fa fiddle faddle with it, it has nothing to destroy something. Because, you know, you ever notice that this shit never gives you problems unless you're on camera? Yeah. And that's every time it wants to act stupid. But I'm just gonna leave this here, I'll put it all back together. So this is the repress, obviously. Uh, I can't quite remember. Did I never saw Toxic Holocaust live or anything? If I'm not mistaken, it's kind of like a one-man gang situation. I think it's like one dude doing a bunch of stuff. I don't know how much is in this group. I don't recall. All right, because I never really got balls deep right. into it, right? But hell on earth, I kind of like the whole like you know fantasy metal back in the day, where it's like witches and warlocks and demons, and you know like Ronnie James Dio and you know like Judas Priest, chromium plated. Angels are coming to destroy yeah. the Antichrist on planet Earth, and they're battling for souls and nonsense nerd stuff, right? I was like, and appreciate that, right? So, and we're just going to let this go silent for a second. We'll flip the record. This is the one thing I do that I don't like. I don't know if this had to be a double LP. Right. Or if it's just big, like just long enough an album that it went to double P status, L LP status. But this sleep, I don't really want to listen to an eight-minute track, an eight-minute side, and then flip over, but... 
if I'm not mistaken, side two on this is like 12, 13 minutes. So, uh, whatever, right? Well, let me get this stupid story out of the way, and then we'll get after it, because this video is probably going to go 20 plus minutes, man. I'm not very good at this, right? So, Hell on Earth. Uh, Hell on Earth, and I'm forgetting the other track that was kind of, you know, that you would have just downloaded would have been the one of the main two tracks. But, dude, some of the lyrics on this are just, you're worthless, you're pathetic, you deserve to burn in hell. What's the point? God, God isn't real, but the devil is. You know, one of those things like that yeah. oxymoron, but it's just brutal lyrics, and it's just like, you know, and it's just like, fuck yourself. You know, like, so a lot of this music, you want to flip that record, bud? Yeah. So we can just move on from there, right? And so I figure I go from Toxic Holocaust, which, by the way, is a gnarly album cover, and I don't regret owning it, but like I say, at some point, you're just like, dude, how brutal do the lyrics have to be, man? You know, whether you believe in heaven and hell or whatever you think the soul is or whatever it is, I don't think if the soul is who you are as a person, you know, I don't think as a person I'm a worthless piece of shit that deserves to burn in hell for all eternity. Good. Personal opinion, man. Good. Yeah. All right, so this is not this is the least metal stuff I'm showing. That Black Mountain Four, which is a little bit more, uh, a little bit more psyche, spacey, electronic yeah. at times. You know, the 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 next that the that was their fourth one. I went back and bought their third, so I like this. This is more kind of just like straight up kind of rock, kind of like new, new era garage rock. It kind of has the spacey pop elements at time that maybe a lot of metal bros won't get into. This one is more kind of like I bought the fifth one. This is a more recent press. This is more if you just kind of want old school rock. You know what I mean? It kind of has like you know early garage rock vibe to it. It kind of has at time that kind of like a little bit of electronic poppy spacey right. vibe to it. But if somebody just likes a little bit of break from the in-your-face metal metal, and they just want to rock, you know what I mean, and listen to some uh, guitar work and overlapping drums and, you know, some complexity, you know, I dig this, you know what I mean? Uh, I haven't listened to enough to know which of the short tracks and which ones. I know because that Black Mountain 4 has some kind of, like, more proggy qualities to it where it kind of runs long at times. But so, we'll see. But I just... I figure I'd break it up a little bit, man. You know, I like all walks. This is kind of yeah. a theme video, all right? So I'm going to go rewind. These are mostly, these are all new grabs. If I didn't say that, who cares? I'm just showing new grabs, right? Everything can't be a contest video. Not that I want to, I want to support everyone if I could, but uh, everything is a contest video. So my very first Vinyl Community video, all right? I showed Pantera, right? It's so cool, dope. Dig Pantera, nothing too special. It's Cowboys from Hell. A lot of Southern White Trash, this is their Pantera, yeah. and you can't tell them anything else. And, dude, don't get me wrong, this is not my favorite Pantera. I love this. I'm not putting this down in any way whatsoever. It's more just like the rednecks in the Carolinas. And, man, that's my shit. Yeah. And they never gave another Pantera another track just because it has the name Cowboys. Yeah, like that, then exactly. It's, it, and then this white trash album cover said everything. You know what I mean? But so uh, this has this has Cemetery Gates. And if there's a cliche metal track that you've heard a billion times yeah. but you're not getting tired of, that's kind of my cliche metal track that I just still love. But my very first Vinyl Community video, don't go back and watch it. I'm starting on my word. It's terrible, <laughs> right? It. But so I, I stuttered, I flared, I blurbled. You know, I just had like verbal mistakes, right? And so in my very next video, I thought it'd be fun for my second Vinyl Community video. Peel the Band-Aid off, or however I labeled it. I thought it'd be hilarious to um, crap on the mistakes I made, right? And so I pretty much got all my thoughts out, right? But when I was talking about the mistakes, I meant to say this, and I meant to say that, and whatever, and nobody gave me a hard time. Cool, happy to be in the vinyl community. Uh, I showed this record, and talked about Dimebag Daryl and Pantera, and I made mistakes, and uh, went, was wrong, stuttering over my words like I'm now, talking about Pantera. So the one I wanted to apologize for, or not apologize for, whatever, there's no yeah, apology no screen. Apologize. Yeah, yeah, no, oh, just <laughs> crease break? You know, I've had this for a while and played it a few times, but uh, anyways, Vulgar Display of Power. So I went and talked about Pantera again, stuttered over my own words, screwed things up, couldn't get my thoughts out, right? So I did Ron Haggerty last week. My boy, uh, I want to say this was when Matt came over. I had some, I had some new friends in the vinyl community that hang, hung out in the chair, right? So I showed this, and I'll do it just like with the Ron Haggerty. If you haven't watched that video, go back. I grew up with this Pantera, right? And I said far from driven because we're nerds and we're talking about far from home right. spider-man which i'm gonna go watch right. tomorrow right so i had it in my brain and not only did i say it once i said it twice so bam this new this new purchase f 
far beyond driven. This is probably the hardest Pantera there is. And if you can't tell, that's a lady getting the business. <laughs> I, I didn't even know this album cover was what it was. Forgive me if I'm repeating myself. If you actually watch all my videos and then watch the whole things. But I, I didn't know this. I didn't even know this album cover got taken down immediately by the record company. Okay. And then this was the album cover I knew forever in a day. I didn't even know this existed until a couple years ago, right? And they repress this. But so Phil, the lead singer, was basically like, "This is metal up your ass." They thought metal was dying, and they were bringing metal straight up your ass. And it's quite literal. It's a drill. Classic. Yeah, I don't think I'd explain it right. So in the same realm. A little hardcore punk. I showed some uh, Black Flag recently. Sometimes, you know, when you make these videos and if you're constantly buying music and shooting the breeze, it all runs together. You're listening to music. You don't know what you showed, but I'm almost... I know one thumbnail was actually Black Flag. Right. So I know I showed one Black Flag. I, I, had, I got damaged recently. I don't know if I ever showed this uh, Rollins band, right? So... This is actually the album that got me into uh, a Henry Rollins and the Rollins band. Because we talked about it one time too, man. Because we, we, I remember just little weird things popped in my head. We were talking about how I discovered the Rollins band through Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, yeah. I and so I, I'm pretty sure I showed this in the past. But I got this within, within the past month or so. I haven't even split this, dude. I just got so much. I'm listening to music all the time. But I'm so familiar with this. When I saw it, I grabbed it. The price is right. It's still sealed. But this is going to get broken in the very near future. We might listen to this tonight. And we need to get back on our weightlifting because we were lifting weights to... Uh, we were lifting weights to... Uh, oh, to to Black Flag recently. Yeah. So this is Henry Rollins, right? Anyways, also, uh, I guess another shout-out to Darcy, man. He gave a huge rundown on Accept. And it was funny that um, right after he did his Accept video, I found this out in the wild. Uh, is this their seventh studio album? This might be somewhere around their seventh. Dude, I'm, I'm getting distracted by sleep. It's all good though. But so, uh, Russian Roulette. Um, Revolver's left on the table. So I don't know if they're yet to play or the game didn't go well. So, uh, anyways, um, I found this and, um, original Inner Sleeve. It's all... There's a little dust on there. That's a hair that looks like a surface scratch on camera. But that's just a freaking... looks like a cat hair. But that's all sorts of super stupid clean. And anyways, once again, static clean. I'm on camera. So it's going to be a jerk. Yeah, it's going to be a jerk. And see, that type of thing is going to push me over 20 minutes to scare away metal bros. But, uh... Alright, last thing. Get into the contest, right? So, online purchase. By the way... We got tickets to Iron Maiden. Yeah! <laughs> so we got tickets to Iron Maiden. Super happy about that, right? And so, uh, dude, that's what we're going to do tonight. You know, we've, we've gone a couple of Judas Priest deep dives, and I sing about playing that battle cry. Tonight's a Maiden night. Yeah. So we're just going to go all Maiden. As soon as we're done with this little video, we're just going to go Maiden, right? So I've I'm, I'm been listening to a decent amount of Maiden leading up to that concert we're going to go to, right? So I got this online. This is outside this little bend in the corner, right? That's It is what it is. Because this is a original, I don't know if you can see it, it's the textured First Press US. It's in aftermarket sleeve, but this is the Sterling Press, right? And so if you can see it, I don't know how well it's going to come out. It's super nice. I bought this online. And then, um, dude, it's super clean. And then it's not being used because it doesn't need to be damaged. But there is the original inner sleeve. First Press US Iron Maiden Power Slave. I got this idea for this contest, right? I bought a two for, unfortunately, I ordered two. They're supposed to be in the same condition. This seller online has a bunch of different al albums and he missent the wrong album that's in a different condition. And so he made it right and I'm getting a discount on my next thing I buy from us all, whatever. But so this is a vinyl community gift, so it kind of sucks. I'm not going to give mine away. I'll be straight up <laughs> real. I'm not going to give away mine. Excellent condition, near mint wax, Sterling Press, U.S. First Press, uh, with the original inner sleeve, right? So this does not have the original inner sleeve. I got to clean this record because it has, it has just a little, a little bit of uh, fingerprint smudging. It has some light scratches. I haven't played this because I played mine. Right. But uh, dude, this should play crystal clear, right? 
So anyways, this is a power slave. And then this right here, I mean, if you could deal with it, like I say, it's still the original textured US uh, first press, right? So it's got a little bit of water damage and it's got some clear tape. If you're to frame this or put this on the wall, like I say, from distance, you really can't tell. You know what I mean? It does suck because as a gift, I want to get something that's flawless, but it still presents really well. The wax, which, which you play, is really good. But uh, in the very near future, I think I'll probably drop details on 7-7. Seven, seven. You know what I mean? Speaking of which, I need... Seven son of a seven son! I'm hunting priests, religiously, right now. Not priests. Uh, sorry, sorry, priests is always... Always on the brain. They're number one. Yep. I'm oh, sorry. The brain. But I'm, I'm, hunt, I'm hunting Maiden, right? So I got Maiden on the brain, right? And I'm super excited. 22nd is when we're going to go see Maiden in Charlotte. By the way, if anyone in the vinyl community is going to be in Charlotte, hit me up. I'm going to be at the concert. So if anybody out there is in Charlotte, let's do it, man. Yeah. And so, um, rock on. This is what it is. And so uh, this is going to be up for grabs in a contest in the near future. Details on 7 7. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Good times. Rock on. Have fun. And uh, yeah, no worries. Like I said, if you, if you see the comments, thumbs up. Rock on. Hang 10. Peace out. But uh, I love y'all, man. Take care, man. And then, hey, by the way, uh, I do some of these metal contests, and you got, I got whatever. I don't care about subscribers, but I have like. 250 subscribers right and then I'll have a video of 400 views and then whatever the comments end up to be 100 because you go back and forth with friends or whatever but 20 people comment participate <laughs> I want to hang out with more metal community VC bros so if you tune in hey man grow a pair have some nuts I thought we're some VC like metal bros metal bros aren't supposed to be sissies they're scared to hang out this is not some party where you're like those are the cool kids it's a fellow metal bro man I know I listen to jazz and funk and soul and some other stuff that you might not, 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 not but it's metal time I'm not showing metal with that other crap so if you're a metal bro get down with another metal bro don't be a puss about things sorry to kind of end the story kind of aggro but once again 7-7 uh, details coming rock on